what is your opinion about uh, transplantation in patients with liver metastasis uh, from colorectal cancer? My opinion about this uh, very important topic, it is that first it is here to stay because the Oslo group and uh, some other groups have shown that it is feasible with long-term survival and even with long-term disease-free survival. How to select the patients uh, for uh, transplantation? Up to now, the main criteria to select these patients are the number of nodules, the number of liver metastases, the size, the larger size of the nodules, the level of the tumor markers and particularly the CEA, and uh, the time interval between the decision to transplant and the transplantation itself. Do we have data on survival without uh, recurrences? Yes, yes, we have data now two ways, the, the SECA2 study from the Oslo group and the results from uh, the Geneva group, who is in fact a multi-center study, they showed that it is possible to have about 40% survival without recurrence in a very selected group of patients. So it is possible. Must be increased uh, split liver transplantations? Yes, this is, uh, this is a mute point. We have to develop this technique of split liver transplantation some groups in Italy have shown that it is possible to have the same survival with the left graft, with the right graft, and even compared to the wall liver. So clearly, we should develop this because in Europe, it is still only 4% to 5% to of transplant performed in adults with the split liver transplantation, whereas probably 10 to 15% of livers, cadaveric livers, could be split. Combined liver and uh, anorectal transplantation, what is uh, your opinion? I think it's, uh, it's a dream, it's the future. It will, uh, in medicine, it is, we should never say never or always. So I think this will happen. The technique of liver transplantation is now a routine. The technique of anorectal transplantation is feasible in large animal models. So this could happen, I think so.